Some lawmakers are focused on finding a connection between President Trump and Russia. One news editor says that there is a reason that they don't have concrete evidence. One America's Claire Hardwick explains from New York. Well, the Senate Intelligence Committee announced they will conduct a thorough investigation into whether President Trump had ties to Russia. One political writer said this investigation is more of a political witch hunt than a substance-driven probe. Roger Kimball said the Democratic Party has been trying to find some concrete proof of a connection between President Trump and Russia for months and that they are trying to do this to undermine the Trump movement and his legitimacy as president and to explain Hillary Clinton's loss to President Trump. A, did Russia hack the election? Uh, B, was uh, Donald Trump somehow uh, uh, complicit with the Russians in, in this uh, putative hacking? Well, the answer to the first thing is, is no. And the answer to the second thing is uh, no squared. I mean, of course, the Russians uh, were interested in our election. They were trying to penetrate uh, uh, everybody's server. But they've been doing this for decades. Kimball said that this is further evidence of the left trying to control the narrative. And you have to look at President Trump's actions as president versus the left's empty allegations. As far as Donald Trump's being complicit with Putin, well, let's see, what has he done? He is uh, you know, given a green light to energy exploration in this country. So now uh, Russia's primary source of dollars is, is you know, permanently uh, on hold. The price of oil is not going up because um, we, we, as it turns out, Obama was wrong. We can drill our way out of this crisis. Uh, we have more proven reserves than anyone in the world. Uh, he is upgrading our military. Do you think that's something that Putin's going to like? He is taking a second look at Syria, Yemen, other, other hot spots around the world. So it's, uh, it, it's, it's ridiculous on its face. Kimball said that if the Democratic Party wants to look at a politician with ties to Russia, they should look at Hillary Clinton, who facilitated the Russians getting 20% of the U.S. uranium reserves. From New York City, Claire Hardwick, One American News.